Hey team, Will Cobb here. I have five tips to help you develop film better at home. These are five tips that I had to scour the internet to learn how to do, and I'm gonna share them with you right now. Hack number one, the 2% rule. Once you pass eight rolls of film on any developer, or if the age of your developer goes longer, then you should start adding 2% time on your developing phase. By adding 2%, it extends the developing cycle and develops the film for a little bit longer as the developer degrades over time or in one of our other variables, light or air. So the 2% rule is adding 2% per roll to your developing time every roll that you develop. So if you have five rolls that you've developed, it would be 10% more time. So to do that, we take our original time of 3.5 minutes and we times that by 1.5 one and equals 3.85 minutes. To break this up into minutes, we're going to remove the three, which we know three minutes, and go 60 seconds times 0.85 to figure out how many seconds we need to go on our percentage. We need to go for three minutes and 51 seconds after five rolls of film. So the 2% rule is pretty great and it definitely works. I definitely recommend trying it out and using it for yourself. Now, you might be wondering, well, what if that overexposes my film? A lot of films like to be overexposed, so there's really not that much harm in only going 2% over. Your numbers do get a little crazy when you start getting into 60% when you're at like 30 and 35 rolls of film, but I have tried this method and it works really well, and I definitely recommend you try it too. It'll get you a lot more value out of your film developing kit. Hack number two, photo flow. If you don't use photo flow, I don't know what you're doing. I ran into a problem a lot on my last step of developing. It would leave residue on there, especially if I was extending my chemical times and getting more rolls out of my developer you definitely need something to rinse that water off. And PhotoFlow is like a little touch of soap. It's not actually soap, but it adds something that helps the water sheet right off. It's a one part per 200 milliliters of water. So one milliliter to 200 milliliters of water, distilled water. And what I do is after I finish developing, right before I hang it up, I do a quick rinse of that solution and it works every time. Hack number three, buy more than one developing kit at a time. These are different ones, but definitely buy two. Why? Because these last on the shelf for a long time in their dry stage, and they seem to keep going out of stock. I'm not sure if it was COVID, but I don't know. When you run out of chemicals, you need them, and having to order them and wait for them to ship to you, or them being out of stock, that's not a position you wanna be in as a film photographer. So just buy two, use one, keep one in the backup. Always refresh the one that you have on the shelf. Hack number four is for our Patterson tank users and our 120 shooters. You can get two rolls on one reel of the Patterson tank because this is actually designed to hold a 220, which is twice the length of your 120 film. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the film on the reel and roll the film onto the reel. Once it's on there, either with a gloved hand or maybe the side of your hand so you don't get so much fingerprints on it, you wanna move and twist that 120 roll until it's all the way to the end. Once it's all the way to the end, take your second roll, start rolling that one on, and you go right to the end and have a little bit off. There might be some overlap, but that overlap is never normally touching where your actual photos were. And sometimes they'll be connected together when you pull it out, but it's okay. Unless you mess it up, it's never gonna be overlapping on your film. Definitely try it once. Try to get the film all the way on there. This tip I was not able to find on the internet. There was only like one video of a guy doing it. Also, there's very few videos of people putting 120 film onto a reel. So what's up with that? I hope this video was able to help you. Okay, our last hack, hack number five, is gonna be the film leader retriever. This thing was night and day for me. Um, it's a little complicated to use, and I'll show you in just a second how to use it. It really cuts down on me trying to fiddle in the dark with loading my reels. So I definitely recommend this thing. You can pick it up for like 12 or 14 bucks. And this thing's a little finicky, but it is awesome. Start it with all the way down and your film all the way empty. 
So we're gonna shove all three. There's three little sections here. There's the A section, there's the B section, which is this under part, and then there's this little lip. We'll start it with it all down together. We're gonna shove it all in there. So all three parts are in there right now. And then we're gonna twist this until we hear an audible click. We're gonna go a good bit past that. All right, we're gonna push the first one, which is the A. This one doesn't have those letters labeled, but most of them say A. Now here's the one where that actually matters with the click. We're gonna twist this counterclockwise until we hear a click. I heard the click and just go a little bit past the click, just a little bit past. We'll push in the last layer and then hold onto this and pull this out and it should work. Perfect. Okay, now that we have this out, in daylight, we can pull this out a little bit. We're gonna cut the leader and we can go ahead. We can pull out a little bit of this and put it on and get it started. And now it's ready to go. You've already exposed this when you loaded the film and probably a little bit more. So what you'll do is you'll put this in the bag and this is the easiest method I found and just ratchet it on when you hit the end, cut off that last little bit and we're gonna load it into the tank, easy. Okay, that's my five developing hacks for you and I hope you were able to learn something new about developing at home and that these tricks will help you be a better home developer and scanner. They're not too hard, but I, I really think that they're great. It took me a long time to find each and every one of these on the internet and I think they're very useful for home developers. Head over to the full feature developing film covering the entire developing cycle from top to bottom and the kit that I use to develop film at home. So if you like this content, definitely like and subscribe, hit the bell to get more videos like this in the future. I'm gonna try to start doing a weekly upload schedule and I really appreciate your support. Go like me on Instagram at OneWillCobb and stay tuned for the next videos.